All right, welcome to Sonic Lobotomy. Tonight's show, we have Kill Slug for you. Give it up. Well, tonight we have one of my favorite uh, bands that I grew up with, actually. You guys have been around for tried 27 to, tried years. Tried to grow up with. I tried, yeah. You were part of my uh, life growing up. and uh, Always love Kill Slug, and it's, it's good to see you're back together again Thank after you. a hiatus. How long has it been? When did you first form? It was 27 years ago. Uh, 27 million. Yeah. Yeah. And we're in the midst BC. of our 20-year uh, anniversary re reunion tour right now. So it had been 20 years since we played, and now we're doing 20-year reunion tour. And how's it going so far? Well, we had some great short shows in New York. Uh, we did one in Boston that went over real well. Um, <clears throat> did some radio thing, uh, radio thing. We got some other things up our sleeves.
back up. Yep. Hang, on Hang on now. now. Wait a, a sec. sec. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 just read uh, uh, set list. The next song on the set list. Ladies and gentlemen, I got it. I got it. I used to see you guys back in the day. Really? A lot of smoke. I remember seeing uh, you play a, with Danzig, maybe, or... Trouble. Trouble, yeah. Hmm. Played yeah. shows with both. You never got to see one of our radio shows with the smoke, though. Everyone no, crashed. no, yeah. Smoke don't come, come out over the airwaves. Oh, it came out pretty good. Yeah, nice. So nice. when was the first time you saw us? Oh, maybe mid-80s. Hmm. Yeah. We were almost done by then. Yeah, it was good though. It was mid 80s. 
it was different than um, anything I'd ever seen, you know. When you first started out, uh, how did you find your sound? It, what, it was quite different then. Well, me and Larry, we, we saw that guy got run over in the car, by the car in Kenmore Square when we were in high school. Then, oh, that guy too? The guy got hit by a car? Yeah, the, um, he actually, it was actually a hearse he got run over by. A hearse? Yeah, we went to high school in Kenmore Square. What was that together. question again? He might have been dragged oh, by they the get hearse. Their sound. He was dragged by the hearse and, <laughs> yeah, and, and just, you know, the, the noise from that was enough to inspire many a band. We started out uh, like the Sitco sign, the noise from the uh, fluorescent lights up there. Kenmore Square. Bothered us. Put something in, yeah. yeah. Our name's on the top of that if you want to climb up someday. All right. You can see the Red Sox for free. That's true, yeah. 75 I got Red World Sox jammies, you know. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. I'll give you a piece. Do you want a piece of gum? It's got caffeine in it.
Somebody's getting hot. Check it out. Look. He's getting hot. Those flannel shirts went out of fashion a long time ago, you know. With the Nirvana days. Oh, well. Enough fashion talk. I'm going to... Uh, okay. You want to get fashionable? Take something off? I'm going to take something off right now. You dare me? Can I whip you with this belt first? Can I whip you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to come over here because nobody will be able to see if I take my pants off or not. But can I whip you? <laughs> that will prove you playing. That was the buckle side. That was me. I'll do this way. Some of the members of the band were in the groinoids. Me and Rico were in the groinoids, the first version. And then uh, me and Larry and John were in a, uh, the, uh, like a third version later on in the late 80s. Then we had, we had a, a, a version in the middle, which is us back together with yeah. the original singer as well. Yeah. Kill Slug has been through probably, I can't even imagine. I, I don't think I've ever calculated how many 37. lineup changes that there's been, but it's always been Larry and I from the beginning. Jay's been in just about everything, uh, minus a few live shows.
You recently played New York. You played a few shows. How did those go? Wow. Well, the best weekend we ever had. We've been on the road before and, you know, done like four or five shows in a week, six, seven, eight shows in a week. We had four shows in one weekend, less than a weekend. It was excellent. Um, consistency. The balls was there the whole time. We all get along real good. No problems at all. It was great. I see Big Daddy's wife. Yeah. From a uh, 40 ounce bottle, was <laughs> heading toward his head. And yeah. like a fool, I pushed him out of the way, but then it it, uh, it hit me. Uh, the bottle hit me in the foot. Was it worth going <laughs> all the way to New York to play? Oh, absolutely. We did a great that radio show, the uh, Pat Duncan show on WFMU. Um, yeah, Pat's great. Great radio station. Great show. Yep. Um, and uh, it was definitely worth it. We got to do an all ages show. We played Manhattan and Brooklyn. So, uh, and, and there were people there, you know, who remembered who we were and came out in force. <laughs> did you pick up with uh, your relationship with Tang Records? Was that 83, 84? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. I think that the Tang thing came out 86, 87. 85. And, and uh, we, I had known Curtis. I was working with another band and hired him to lump some equipment for us before he was started his record company. And once he did, um, it was, we started talking to him about possible releases of Kill Slug stuff. It was like 83, 84, and then 85, he put the album out. 
we had already had a couple singles out and uh, a, a five song cassette by that point. And he was interested, so he did it. And it will be re-released, suppose, supposedly a St. Patrick's Day re-release -re with uh, all the singles, the cassette, the album, and a DVD of some old footage and an interview and maybe some new footage. How about new recordings? Are you guys uh, working on anything? Have you written much new stuff? Uh, I think we're going to try and milk the old stuff for as long as we <laughs> yeah. can. Yeah. You know? And there's even other older stuff we can milk too. So there's so much stuff that people have never heard. We can keep going for years. Well, Larry's had a couple good bands, um, and you don't really want to put the name to it. He's related bands. He's, he's he, similar music. I've had a couple of things that I don't, don't really want to mention, but we've all been, in one way or another, active. And Larry's had had a couple of uh, releases of his own. Larry Life was. His, on a couple of releases. John Kosick here is, is very uh, active with uh, several bands, you know, over the last many years. Jay's been active in a couple of things, and you know, we've all been pretty much playing. We haven't played together in almost 20 years, but we've seen each other or talked or been active in one way or another with, you know, still playing our instruments. How's it feel to play together again? It, the first practice that we had about a year ago was excellent, like right off the bat, bang, it sounded great. Oh boy. Oh, go to, go to spread. <laughs> How about uh, Mr. Butch? Oh, how about him? Well, boy, uh, he's really missed. Me and Larry have known him since 19, or knew him since 1973. I met him the day after he got into Boston uh, in 1973. Me and Larry went to high school in Kenmore Square, and uh, yeah, really missed. Great guy, uh, unbelievable drummer. Mm. I get to play in a band with him for a little while. Uh, close friend, we used to put him up quite a bit. Great cook. Mm. He used to come to Upside and Cross's place for Thanksgiving dinner every Thanksgiving, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> Henceforth, uh, yeah, but that was like a tradition. What's your philosophy? Mm. 
about what yeah. philosophy itself or yeah um pretty good philosophy is good stuff all right is that uh, related to you know the anthropology and those ologies but, yeah philosophy is a good one <laughs> yeah This old dollhouse. Look what I do to it. See? I'm gonna break this. Cause I uh, start moving around. What is that noise? No background noise. Yeah, you mad And I 
Oh, sorry. I didn't. I didn't think it was caught on the cord. Thanks for listening to Sonic Lobotomy. It's been great. We're all done. <laughs>